Right. Uh, afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We've got the Scotland captain, Richie Barrington. He is ready for your questions. Anyone would like to ask the first question? Very good afternoon, Jans. And obviously, I'm the only lady. Um, congratulations again on your win. And um, it's good to know that tonight, it was to this afternoon, it was about the Scottish. Well, do you feel as if um, there was a lot of pressure towards the end, whereby you had to really, really, really make sure that you guys had to chase um, the, uh, the, the mark and for you guys to actually win? Um, well, look, I, f I felt um, after seeing the wicket um, in the first innings and how hard it was to defend uh, towards the end there when someone was set. Uh, we knew we were always in the game. Um, obviously losing a few more wickets than we'd have liked put us in a, a more difficult position. Um, but yeah, what, a, what an incredible knock by uh, Michael Leesk there. Um, you know when he's at the crease that you're always in the game. Um, so yeah, it was, just, it was fantastic to see him to get us over the line. And obviously, you know, special to get a, a win like that in the, in the first game. Uh, Skipper, just looking at the ways that you went about it, um, looking at how you used your bowlers, uh, Brendan, after taking five wickets, you only used him for seven. Was there any reason why you decided to let him off the last three? Yeah, look, Brandon was absolutely superb uh, with the new ball. You couldn't ask for a, for a better start, um, obviously getting those early wickets. Um, I thought, to be honest, after his first spell, he did really well to come back. Um, not, not feeling particularly great at the time, um, but it just shows the character he has. Um, to come back and bowl that second spell uh, was an incredible effort. And, you know, to get five wickets in an ODI, um, really special for him as well. Um, someone who just keeps getting better all the time. Obviously, still, still quite young. Um, only been playing the last, the last year or so. Um, so yeah, looking forward to, to seeing more of him. Um, and obviously, batting three, he's got, he's got quite a, an important role for us in the team. All right. Then now, looking at how you guys had an excellent start in the morning, picking up those early wickets, and then looking at where you finished off after the 50 overs, did you feel like as if you lost it somewhere, you could have restricted them to a lesser total? Yeah, look, I think, um, like we've seen you um, at this ground and some of the other grounds, if someone does get in, um, it, can be, it can be quite hard to defend. Um, obviously, having them five down for what they were, we probably would have liked to, liked to have restricted them um, to a few less. Uh, maybe at times through that middle period, we weren't quite as disciplined as we know we can be. Um, so that's something we can look to keep getting better at. Um, but as I say, we, we still felt in the game, uh, we knew it was going to be a good wicket all the way through. And if we manage to get someone set, as I said, it's, you're, you're always in the game, yeah. Right towards the last five overs when you guys were looking at uh, getting 54 off the last 30, what was the mood in the camp? Were you guys hoping that you would see it over the line or were you still on the edge of your seats? Uh, look, as I said, you know, as a team, we've, we've got a belief um, that we can win from, from any position. Um, as I said, obviously, it was going to take something pretty special, um, which, which Michael Lee did today, uh, which was fantastic to see. Um, obviously, there was a lot of tension ahead towards the end there. Um, what a game of cricket to go down to the last ball uh, like that. But I'd say, yeah, for, for Leeski to get us over the line there on that last ball was, was just, um, yeah, special and delighted to start with, uh, with a win. Thank you, Skipper. Thank Good. you.